What's going on, everybody? Doc here, Average Gamer Guys, back with our Brothers War Draft. We got a little blue black artifact ramp going on. We're one and one after the draft, and uh, we're going to see. Let's get into some matches. Let's see how far this one can take us. Just a quick overview. Maybe if you did not check the draft portion, uh, the coolest thing we got was a big Sundering Titan, but basically, we're kind of just using our artifacts to ramp in we've got a couple of cool synergies uh particularly we have the altar with clay revenant which we can bounce back and forth basically and just constantly make either mana or three three zombie artifact creature tokens which is relatively cool it's a nice little extra synergy we got going on uh plus we have a few other things just some some other tricks um when this thing kind of comes online it is pretty fun, and we had some success in our second match uh, after the draft yesterday. So we'll get into these games, and we'll see how they go. All right, so our opponent is going first, and... You know, honestly, seems pretty good. We've got our swamps. We've got our our islands. we got Springleaf Drum, so we got a turn one play. We're going to be able to kind of ramp up some mana here, which is pretty good. Got a mine worker. I think the smart play here is the Prodigy. We can get scrap work. We got a nice kind of got a nice little kind of curve up here. We can try to get into Spotter Thopter here. Kind of representing a good block, or we can just take the two. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield, you put a one-one counter target creature you control. Very good. Wow, that's really good. Especially if they're they're running some some artifacts. I think we just play this. We'll draw a card, lose a life, and represent a nice little blocker. I'm actually wondering if we attack and force a double block, that way we could try to take this out. It has Vigilance, so. Let's see. Probably just takes the one damage. Neat little trick here. This actually kind of it wasn't bad. Uh, <clears throat> we get the giant growth. So we take out one of the combat tricks. We keep our Power Stone Prodigy. This will become handy if we can find uh, some things to do here. We need to get rid of this guy, ideally. Could involuntary cooldown basically put stun counters on these? Try to get in for some damage. We're sitting at what four or five, representing six mana. I would like to try to get to this. I think we just play the altar here. If 
they keep pumping up and they keep pumping up mine worker that'll be a little rough We could sack this guy and get the Thopter in. Yep, they're going to put some counters. Seems fine. Let's see what they do here. That's five. Yeah, so we could pay the one. We could get this guy in. Essentially by sacrificing him. And then what we could do is unearth and then sacrifice him again, basically to get the uh, yeah, let's do this here. And we get to scry big. And we get a good big body here, too. We don't need that. We don't need that. Also, bulk war actually is fine. It's a 3-3. Three, three. That's a good blocker. Put everything else to the bottom here. What we can do is actually tap down the reachers and we can start hitting. We can get a couple of shots in here. Oh, that sucks. I, I think that's the big issue with this deck currently is just no we're gonna take five yeah it's just no no good interaction here this costs four let's play the lands unearth we get to draw get some damage get to sack that guy we do is get a 3-3 up which is good this is an artifact spell we're in trouble but it kind of basically just presents a blocker we can take out one of these guys we kind of just get in the way enough Let's see what they do i mean i have to block the mine worker like this We'll take the two. It just makes too much sense. If this is a giant growth or a pump spell, it is what it is. Yeah. Oh, that's not going to matter. Oh, it has indestructible. Eh, well. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um, okay, well... We play the land, play this guy. We can keep two up to do combat courier and sacrifice it, like if we need to on the block. What I think I do here the cooldown just buys me some time.
And I want to be mana efficient here. So I'm going to do that. Let's just stun these guys down. This isn't looking good. I need a bomb or I need a way to remove essentially this guy, I think, actually. So this, this should hold. I'm going to sacrifice him to draw the card. Foundry Inspector. And what I can do is turn this guy into a 3-3. This isn't kind of some nice synergy that we have with this, at least. And we do get this. I don't know if it would have been better to draw the card, but I think getting some power on the battlefield here with these guys is smart. Now, this gets interesting, actually. That's pretty good. This is pretty good here. This is kind of a swing that we need. All right, so we can get a little bit of power out of the way. We still got the 3-3 three, three representing with the bulk wart. Yeah, see the power of them here. We gotta get rid of that guy. There's no reason you don't put it there. This is a close game. I feel like we've stabilized pretty well. We're going to represent some good power on the board. It's going to be a 6-6 again. Let's see attacks, actually. So we can loot here. The question is, do we kill the big guy? I can sacrifice something like Springleaf Drum, which is not a big deal. We kill the big guy. He only has five power left. Not sure what he has in his hand. This is a 6-6. Six, six. I got to try it, I think. Sure. Now, now we come with the attack. Now we're a little bit into the driver's seat here. And we can keep looting. We need to find a way to get rid of this guy. any additional artifacts is just going to keep kind of stacking up but if we can get rid of this guy i feel pretty pretty confident we can be okay 
and the ability for us to keep attacking with this 6-6, he might just have to land, honestly. Let's loot first. So glad I did that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Talk about a refill. Woo! <laughs> Holy moly. I that's so unfortunate. Why didn't you let me play, man? Come on. <laughs> I I understand why. That feels like immense. Um We were gonna go off though. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I would have had the first opportunity to play Sundering Titan. Because what I probably would have done is shipped the two Swamp. Um, Maybe honestly even just ship Scatter Ray and, and a Swamp. Play a Swamp. Basically would have went like Mine Worker, Energy Refractor. Draw, like that would have been, that would have been insane. <laughs> We stabilized really nicely there. That was a good game. Um, Coastal Bulkwart is actually... I, f I feel pretty pretty strong. A 3-3 three, three for 2, and I could have been surveilling, uh, which I wasn't doing, and I could have been looting earlier too, I realize. Um, I was more focused on the fact that we could make Power Stones with this, kind of like trying to get the value there, but just being able to loot through was really good, and I have really liked the altar with the ability to shift creatures, uh, kind of play off the unearth piece, we have a little bit of that synergy. That was really nice. Okay, we get a W. Pretty happy with that. It's looking a little dicey there. That one two mana guy, if you can get a couple of those, I could see that being really, really good. We pick up a W, that's pretty awesome. All right, into another match. All right, um, <clears throat> into another one. The first time we've actually seen Sundering Titan in all the matches we've played. Uh, I would have preferred a third land here, but I actually kind of like where we're at. Foundry Inspector. We're going to be able to do some good stuff here. So, Plus, we got a good one drop with uh, the Combat Courier. We got, a two, we got a couple of two drops we could play here. We could honestly just attack, sacrifice. There's the land we need. Let's just get in for one. Next turn, we can... We can honestly scatter ray anything that they play that might be... I feel like just... No. You know what I mean? Just no thanks. Just no, no thank you. You know what I mean? Then we get this guy. Everything is a little bit cheaper. What is this guy? He's perfectly... Perfectly positioned. Postal bulk war, energy refractor. Draw a card, land. What are we up to here? We are really close to Sundering Titan, and what's crazy is we're going to be able to blow up all of his lands. No, 
Now, the good part here is we've got a good 3-3 body. Nice. Really just want to ramp it. I just want to play Slundering Titan so bad. <laughs> yeah, that's smart. Go to attack phase. Becomes a four six. Three, four, five, six mana. So what I could do. I can emergency weld combat courier. I could also just forge the anchor and try to find another artifact that's going to let me pump. I actually feel like keeping emergency weld in case they kill Sundering Titan would be really good. Let's do that. I'm gonna unearth him. I'm gonna activate him. Let's draw the card. <laughs> now I can play Steel Exemplar here. I need one more land, and then it's not gonna matter. <laughs> and then I'm blowing up literally all of their lands. I have to sacrifice a swamp to do this, which is totally fine. This thing is a 7-10, like. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's getting big. This thing is going to get big. Just need the land. Um, now this represents a big body, which is good. Plus we get to play the mine worker. Land, baby. Or, I mean, I, that's really the only thing I can I can pull here. When we forge the anchor, a couple of them away. I, that'll be. It, here's the thing: it's just going to be backbreaking if we get that with the six x trampler plus the seven ten. Uh, even if they have an answer for it, because we'll just emergency weld. <laughs> what does this guy do? Artifact creatures will get plus two, plus two. Wow. Okay. I am no longer in a good position. <laughs> God dang it. It is a 9-9. Nine, nine. What I should be able to do is block and then I can tap to pay the two and then create the three three. <clears throat> we have enough mana now for Sundering Titan. We 
have to be able to get rid of this guy. Our 6-6 six, six isn't looking as cool. He did find one too. Wow, really good. This guy's got a good deck. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can't do that. Doesn't matter. It's unfortunate. Um, okay, so Sundering Titan. Basically can get one profitable block off of this, yeah. That's crazy. Uh, we double block this. He kills the Sundering Titan. And then we bring Sundering Titan back. Hmm. I made a big mistake there. I made a big mistake. Hmm. Yeah, I'm in trouble. How is he able to play this? Oh, because of Boundary Inspector. I didn't do the math. The math would have helped me there. Math is hard.
So let's see, I've got four, five, six. I think I can play this for full power. Auto pay. I think I'm in a tough spot here. I think I'm just dead. Good game. Yeah, because like... That's nine. Oof. We got to play Sundering Titan. We just didn't have an answer for the Urza. And then uh, they're so well situated in artifacts that we couldn't uh, couldn't get the finish. And they kept just being able to play spells and assembly worker. Very, very good the ability to find additional creatures. I think the other, obviously the other thing that hurt us was the fact that we double blocked. I didn't do the math and we don't kill the big guy, I think we kill the big guy there, even if Sundering Titan dies. If we keep uh, what we had, I think we actually have a decent chance of kind of revitalizing and coming back. Um, but they still probably had enough power on board, so. To another game. Okay, this is a pretty nice open seven. We get clay, which is good. Foundry Inspector, Weld, Forging. I like it. I like... Uh, I like potentially what our curve here could be. It's pretty funny. <laughs> what I need to do is find the altar because we get the altar going. And this guy basically playing the same deck. So now we can get Foundry Inspector in here after... Ah. Let's see what you got. Boundary Inspector. So he, yeah, we'll take it. Andre Inspector is a little too important for us, I think. Kind of thinking maybe I should have played Tower Worker instead to get the mana going. What I would hope for is another island, really another two islands. Feeling he probably shoots this down if he can. Okay, or that goes. It's unfortunate. We 
could emergency weld and then also play foundry. I think we do that. Now what we can represent is these two blocking this. This guy is going to be a little bit hard to deal with. If we can see another land, then we flow for, to knowledge. Makes this a 2-4, which would be really good. Then we can represent the blocker. Double block this down. Good. It is a good card. It is a good card. I could play both of these, which is nice. I also get this. All right. Now we have a 2 4 blocker. We can. <clears throat> We can make this into a 3-5 here pretty quickly with flow for flow of knowledge. Okay, he's bringing the team. There's got to be a combat trick here. You deal one damage to multiple targets. Yeah, that was pretty good. I just think I have to play this. Probably the best I could have hoped for. Oh, he just unearths this for two. He didn't see it. He could have just killed me. <laughs> I should I should lose I should have lost this game. I didn't see it either. All right, so I can bring this back for three. And I could play another tower worker. That's probably the best thing just to represent bodies. Can't get through my one threes, which is good. Oh, he just plays this now. Oh, I don't have to. Yeah, I don't have to. If he has something to kill one of these, I'm dead. But if he just unearths this, swings. I have to block both the two twos. Now, the good part is that one will go away. My guys will survive. I'll be at one. Another one of these freaking things. Uh, you should have made this big, though. Oh, he got another one of them. Gosh, that's wild. Got 
got to put some bodies on the table here and I need to keep this open. Oh, I can Sundering Titan. And that would actually destroy his only black source, which would be so huge. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'm going to be able to play it. Question is, do I have enough blockers? I think what I would need to do... Is like put like burnished heart or something back into library. Or I just die. I feel like we were really close to stabilizing there. We just didn't have enough to get in the way of that 3-4, which was pretty tough. So, not the ideal outcome. We got to our three losses. Uh, we want one and two today. And, you know, it, the, the deck, there were pieces of the deck that really came online that were really cool. Like I said, having the opportunity to kind of do some stuff with the Unearth and this altar was really neat. Uh, I think ramping up. Sundering Titan is good. I think is very good, especially in certain situations. Um, I think had we been able to play it that last game, we probably really kind of take control at that point. Um, the difference ends up being is I don't think this is the best top end threat that we could ramp into. Certainly probably not in the format. And uh, I think that's probably a little bit of the challenge i think we also needed a deck that had maybe just a little bit more bounce i think would have been good um these power stone fractures didn't feel bad in our deck because a lot of times we were getting some good value out of what we were what we were sacrificing to it to put it in uh to to get the destroy effect it being a sorcery isn't super ideal um but i think having just the ability to kind of bounce some stuff out of the way uh, might actually have been better in this just to buy us the time to really set up. And then the games where we got really set up, we just dominated, right? We just dominated. It doesn't feel like there's a ton of actual good creature removal in this set uh, as part of this draft. Um, and I think that would be an interesting thing to take a look at going forward is if we can get and build a deck that is more consistent with creature removal. Specifically, a lot of things having, you know, relatively low power but some there is obviously some really big top end stuff um be kind of interesting to see how that transpires um i didn't hate the deck i thought we got some cool pieces it was fun it was fun for our first draft unfortunately we you know didn't get a ton of wins <laughs> uh we only got the two so not uh not super ideal didn't even go even there uh but we got 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 a little bit Get a little bit and uh i think we'll do another one of these i enjoyed it i think it's a great way just to kind of test out get some cards in this collection uh and on on our account here that uh like i said have not done and uh first draft is always uh an interesting one when you think about it so uh yeah it was good hopefully you enjoyed i'm gonna flash some socials thanks for being here thanks for checking out uh like i said probably another quick draft of brothers war coming up on the channel here uh, relatively soon and then uh, we do have a draft token that we might jump into a premiere draft for wilds of ladrain we may hang on to that too i don't know um kind of enjoying but we'll see how this one goes and uh yeah just thanks for being here uh if you're not subscribed consider it please do we've got a lot of collector booster and other booster box openings of magic the gathering going up one every wednesday for quite a few weeks actually now so if you're interested in checking those out trying to have some consistency there uh in addition to like i said playing some of these getting some drafts in maybe some limited uh maybe some sealed i should say uh as well so thanks for being here i'll close it out doc every guys thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one peace